Good morning and welcome to the city of Chula Vista and welcome to the program Pool Safely. You know, we're delighted in Chula Vista to have a pretty good record of making sure that there are recreational opportunities for boys and girls and training opportunities for parents to make sure that their children are safe when they're around water. And you know, as well as I do, that parents can get distracted, that the teenager who's supposed to be watching the little one can enter into a conversation or, heaven forbid, use their cell phone in the water. But what we're trying to do today in, with your cooperation is to bring attention to the fact that all of us are responsible for what happens in the water when children are swimming. The City of Chula Vista's Pool Safely campaign is one that is just not a, a one-shot one deal. This is all year long. We have opportunities for our kids to swim year-round, therefore we need to make sure that Pool Safely goes on year-round. Our campaign is about public education and just to let you know some of the people from our staff who are here and some of the visitors, we have City Manager Jim Sandoval, Dave Hanneman, our Fire Chief, Captain Gary Focacci from the Chula Vista Police Department, representatives of Council Members Castaneda and Ben Susan, Maria Cachadorian, our Finance Director, who makes sure that the bills can be paid as long as we give her enough money. Olga West, principal of Veterans Elementary School and a member of the, excuse me, of the Friends of Parks and Recreation. Mark Scott, John Miller, and David McClellan, also from the Friends. David is president. And just as a little aside, cities today across the United States depend on the philanthropy and the partnerships that they build. And there's probably no finer partnership than the partnership that is with a group of citizens and the community itself and the city of Chula Vista and the Friends of Recreation meet that bill. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're a member of the Friends, would you raise your hand and if you're in the audience, take a look around and give them a round of applause, their time, their talent and their funds. <laughs> Go to support boys and girls in Chula Vista. We wouldn't be able to do what is done in recreation if we didn't have a superb director of recreation. I'd like Mr. Buck Martin to raise your hand, Buck, and be recognized. Because of the recreation department's work, we're able in Chula Vista to have several programs. One of these programs is called WARN. It's Water Awareness in Neighborhoods. It means that you're going to know what's going on in the pool next door and if children in the neighborhood are allowed into that pool or not and that there's always a responsible adult. ASAP, Aquatic Safety Awareness Program for First Graders. ELTS is the fourth grade swim program and because of the generosity of Kaiser we've been able to offer that now Buck I think we're in our third year, fourth year, fourth year. The average age of drowning victims is two and a half years old and you can imagine that what happens is mom turns her back just for a minute and the two-year-old being so curious about the water gets in and can't get out. We can prevent tragedies like this by educating the public and certainly by teaching boys and girls to swim as we're doing today at Parkway Pool. We're committed to sharing this message with our neighbors and delighted to have representatives of the U.S. Olympic, excuse, yes, United States Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs here. We have sun, you have snow, we could trade it every now and then. I'd like to introduce CPSC Chairman Inez Tannebaum and the Pool Safety Pool Safely campaign to the city of Chula Vista. Ms. Tannenbaum.